eBay sellers, it's Suzanne and I have a fun and interesting sales update video for you. This is from the month of July 2020 and I chose this cover image because it symbolizes the Peachtree Road Race which has been an institution here in Atlanta since 1970 that was the first one and it is a huge 4th of July event that people plan for all year and due to the wonderful pandemic it was canceled this year so we missed that and so paying tribute to the Peachtree Road Race here with my cover image and it was also on an item that I sold so getting into the video the purpose of these sales update videos are to show what the average person can do selling on ebay with consistency and a commitment over time so whether you're doing this full time hitting it hard every single day for many hours or fitting it into your life where you can because life happens and sometimes you have to put eBay on the back burner and then come back to it. But this just shows you over time what you can do with consistency and dedication to the business. The sales in this video took place from July 1st to July 31st of 2020 in my eBay store, Atlanta Golf Shop. And you can follow my store by clicking the little heart next to save this seller. There's a link to my store below the video. So if you want to follow what I do, see how I do things and watch my sales, that's how you can do it. Here is my feedback page just to show you that I do have experience in this business. I have been an eBay member since March of 2003 which was when I listed my first item. So been around for a while and I am approaching 15,000 feedbacks. So really proud of that and that I have maintained this business for so long because mentors in this field do come and go from the business, which is totally fine. I did the same thing. I tried out Amazon and found that was not for me. I've tried Etsy and found out that was not for me. So eBay is my true love and that's where I put my energy. Now, as far as the numbers I'm going to show you in this video, if you are not sure how I'm getting those numbers, there is a link to a video I made called Quick Bookkeeping Tip Number One. So it's very important to know your numbers. One thing I run across especially with newer sellers, is that they're focusing only on their sales numbers. Those that appear on your eBay seller hub or on the mobile app that goes back 90 days. And it is exciting to see that sales number grow, but you really need to know how much of that money you are keeping because your sales includes the price of the item and shipping with no fees taken out or the cost of your inventory. And then if you're using promoted listings on top of that, you would need to deduct that amount as well. So in my experience working with other sellers, your profit is about 50% of that sales number. So it, that's really important to know because you can't pay your bills with your sales numbers. You don't get to keep all that money and for tax purposes you need to know what's being deducted so it's really important to know your numbers it's not fun this part of the business is the part i like the least <laughs> and it's just part of the business though it's very important to know what you're actually keeping because that will come back to haunt you later if you're not keeping up with it so please check out that bookkeeping video, set up a system for yourself so that you will know how much money you're keeping because I just can't stress this enough. 
sometimes it's a hard lesson to look at that and to back out all the numbers for shipping and your inventory cost and your fees and your promoted listings and all of that and see, wow, I'm doing all this work and I thought I was making so much more money. So I'm a realist. I live in the real world. I pay taxes. I report everything and it's just better to do it the right way. So that's my speech on knowing your numbers. Now, also remember that shipping discounts can be up to 40%. So if you see numbers in this video and you're confused, sometimes that's happening. So check that video on how profit is calculated. And another reminder is that watchers don't matter. Views don't matter. Items can sell in minutes, hours, months, or years. So don't get hung up on, I've got four watchers and no one's buying this item. Check out my videos on all about watchers because that will explain a lot about what is going on there. My personal objective is to see $3,500 profit per month on this store by the end of 2020. And some of you may say, wow, that's not very much, but I do this part time. I spend many hours a week making videos for YouTube and for my premium content library, along with writing jobs and other things I do. So I'm not one of these huge hit it hard, slam it type YouTube resellers that has all these huge numbers. And that's perfectly fine with me. I love this business. I will always do this business. I love my life the way it is. It's comfortable. It flows easily. And I get to do a lot of different things that I really enjoy doing. And over the years, I have burned out. And let me just put this out there to you if you're new to this and you're doing this 8, 10 hours a day all the time without stopping like a robot. You will burn out. And I never want to get to the point where I don't like this or it's too much or I don't want to do it anymore. So slow and steady is my motto. And I think this profit number works for me. So that's my objective. And I'm bringing you along on my journey here so that you can see how I do things and set your own goals. This month, I had an amazing month. Um, very excited about some of these things I'm going to share with you. But due to the volume of sales, I'm only going to show you a few notable sales. And I didn't have any huge slam dunk home run type sales, you know, hundreds of dollars. It was very steady and consistent, which is how I like it. Sure, I'll take those hundred dollar sales anytime, but some months you just don't get them. And that's okay. You just keep going and develop a routine and stay consistent and they will come. So here are a few sales that you would expect in July because they are swim items or outdoorsy items. This is a Gore-Tex size 22 swimsuit. I paid $2.12 for this. Sold it for $32.97 at full price. Profit was $27.11. This is a Lily Pulitzer for Target swim cover up. I paid $6.35 for this. Sold it for $29.97. Profit was $20.52. And this sold in about a week. Thought that was a really cute item. Athleta dress. I paid $6.35 for this. It sold for $29.97 on full price. Profit was $20.39. This is a Jamie Sadock golf or tennis squirt athletic item. It was new with the tag. I paid $6.35, took an offer of $35. Profit was $26.26. This is a fun brand. Jams World. I paid $6.35 for this. It sold for $30 on best offer. Profit was $20.43. And I'm doing well with the athletic wear. These are some Victoria's Secret leggings. 
I paid $6.35, sold them for $30. Profit was $20.45. And this was a new brand to me and I wanted to share with you what I found out about this because this material so soft and comfortable. And I actually bought these for myself to wear and then I realized how much they were worth and we all know how that goes. <laughs> you keep the cheap stuff for yourself and sell the high dollar stuff. The brand is called Wolven, W-O-L-V-E-N. I paid $3.18 for these. They sold for $35 on best offer. Profit was $28.06. And I played with the price on this because I went to the website to read about this brand these leggings felt very high quality and just very soft the material was just amazingly soft and in reading about the material they make these out of recycled plastic bottles so you can see there the uh, plastic bottles are then transformed into non-toxic pellets which is then made into yarn and then into fabric and then you have what's called sustainable clothing so very cool company very earth friendly idea and here on their website are the leggings that I found for $88 personally I think not enough people know about this brand yet this will probably take off in the future. That's how it works at first. These newer brands have to get into the mainstream where enough people know what they are. But I was very happy with $35. And another side note on this sale is the buyer was brand new to eBay, had zero feedback, and left me positive feedback. She said product is in perfect condition and arrived quickly. So learned something new on that and had the privilege of being the first sale for a new eBay member and them having a great experience so she'll come back and buy more items. Okay moving on the next item is a Victoria's Secret NFL top with sequins. This was a very fun item. <laughs> I found this and I thought oh, somebody's just gonna love this. I only paid a dollar and four cents for this. It sold for $35 so my profit was $29.95 and it was a pretty fast sale also. Another Victoria's Secret item this bra really pretty pink with gold flecks and just gorgeous. I paid $4.24 it sold for $29 profit was $21.83. Here's another fun item. I just knew somebody would love this dress because it was very unusual. It wasn't so much the brand, it was the pattern. I paid $2.82. It sold for $32.97. Profit was $26.39. And it was a musical notes pattern as well as the classic pinup style halter top. A very flattering cut with the fuller skirt and a little lace up part at the front and I just saw this and I knew somebody's gonna love this and sure enough it sold for full price another item is this golf shirt the brand is called psycho bunny I paid six dollars and thirty five cents it sold for 29 on best offer my profit was nineteen dollars and fifty four cents now, some things you might not expect to sell in July. A whole bunch of winter items. Here are some of them. Another Victoria's Secret item, this jacket. It was a thick fleece hoodie with the sequin love pink on the back. I paid $7.42, took an offer of $40 the next day. Profit was $26.17. Here is a cashmere hoodie zip front sweater. I paid $6.35 for this. It sold for full price, $39.97. My profit was $28.97. And there was another one just like it. It was priced as a jacket though, so a little bit different. Sold just a few days later. 
I paid $7.42 for this, took an offer of 30, profit was $19.22, and these were sold to two different buyers a couple of days apart. In the middle of July, here's another cashmere sweater. I paid $3.18 for this, it sold for $30, profit was $23.60. And Chico's sweater, new with tag, $119 tag on it. I paid $6.35, took an offer of $29.97, profit was $19.16. And you might think, wow, why did you take such a low offer on an item with a $119 tag? And it's because of the access I have to inventory where I live. I could go out later today and find something comparable to this because that's what I find. So I have changed my business model to more of a turn and burn because I can get more of it anytime I want. And I've really developed an appreciation for my thrifting sources when everything was closed during the pandemic. And it made me realize how much I have access to and why not? Why not go get as much as I can and provide these items to people who want to buy them? So that whole situation has really changed my outlook on how I do this business. Okay, next item is a Nike Pro Hyper Warm Top. This is definitely for winter weather. I paid $6.35 for this, took an offer of $30, profit was $20.29. This is a Ralph Lauren thick tweed sweater with a shawl collar. I paid $6.35, sold it for $35 on best offer, profit was $25.08. And finally, this is a Cuddle Duds Poncho. Very soft material. I actually bought this for myself <laughs> because I thought, oh, that'll be great just to throw on in the winter, run to the post office, whatever my errands are, and very soft material. Well, Cuddle Duds is not a brand I normally sell, so I looked it up and saw, oh, wow, this is actually a nice item that could sell for between $30 and $40. So, of course, it went up for sale. I paid $6.35 for this, sold it for $30 on best offer. Profit was $19.74. And you might wonder, well, why would someone buy a winter item like this in the middle of July? And my buyer left feedback that said, received quickly and works great for our camping adventures. So, make sure you get out of your own head, seasonal items are not seasonal on eBay. Anything can sell anytime. If you have it, list it. Now for the fun stuff. A new fun product line for me. I've started selling t-shirts. And that's not really a revelation for anyone, but I never really looked at them before. I would just skip over them. But a few things lined up that steered me in this direction. First of all, my Goodwill stores have started a new dollar sale on Mondays. So now I look at everything regardless of the section of the store because what they're doing is whatever color was the 50% off color the past week, they're putting those items for sale for a dollar on Mondays. So it's kind of like the challenge of finding what's in the leftovers. And I was finding some good stuff. Also, t-shirts line up with my goal of compacting my business, smaller to store, lightweight and easy to ship. And I never really did t-shirts before because all the well-known people that do them specialize in the collectible vintage rock band t-shirts and I just didn't have any interest in doing that but I've learned that does not matter you don't have to know any of that you can still make money selling other kinds and honestly they're just fun it's just a fun product line I will find things in the store and just start laughing and think oh yes someone is going to buy this or I know exactly the kind of person that would buy that so 
it's just added another layer of fun to this business and that's where I'm at right now is I want to have fun with this and I want to say many thanks to those of you who have purchased t-shirts from my eBay store and I want to give you guys the chance to have some fun with this so if you've purchased a t-shirt from me email me a photo of you wearing the shirt for inclusion in future videos I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to use this, but why can't we all have fun with this, right? You can make it funny or serious. Just be yourself and let's have a good time with this. So let me show you some of the t-shirts that sold so that if you were under the impression that you had to be this expert in rock band t-shirts or vintage t-shirts, that you don't. You can make money from them regardless of how old they are or the theme. This was one of the first ones I found and I thought, oh yes, someone is definitely going to buy this. It's a University of Alabama Roll Tide Women's Medium t-shirt and it's got this woman looking in a mirror saying, all summer long she was a sweet southern lady and then football started. And yes, I know people like this, <laughs> so you don't mess with them if they are an Alabama football fan. Both of my parents went to Alabama, so I know what that is all about. I grew up with that, living in Georgia with parents who went to Alabama, so I get it. I paid $1.50 for this shirt, it sold for $12, profit was $9.62, and it sold in about two days. Here is a North Face large t-shirt with raglan sleeves. Just a cute image of a bear walking and the North Face logo and very soft material. I paid $1.06 for this. It was on the dollar sale on a Monday at Goodwill. Sold for $12. Profit was $10.20. Here we have a Yungling beer shirt and one of my faithful viewers bought this so I'm waiting for her to send me a picture of herself in this shirt with her beer because she said this was her favorite beer and she just had to have this shirt. I paid three dollars and eighteen cents for this sold it for fifteen profit was ten dollars and seventy one cents and made her very happy. Okay here is a concert t-shirt not necessarily vintage Kenny Chesney Men's Extra Large Shirt 2007 Flip Flop Summer Tour. I paid $1.06 for this, sold it for $15, profit was $12.65. Here we have another Victoria's Secret item, Boston Red Sox with the glitter on the front. I paid $3.18, sold for $15, profit was $10.34, and this sold in about a day really quickly. Okay, here is the Home Depot shirt from the cover image. It was an extra large shirt that Home Depot employees wore in their group at the Peachtree Road Race in the year 2015. And it even had a defect. There were two smudges on the top left. It was very visible but I was like this is a very cool logo and runners like these shirts that are from different races they like to wear them when they go running or whenever so someone also may have a collection of Peachtree Road Race shirts that they are building and need this one to add to their collection my dad was a runner and that's what he did he saved all his running t-shirts from all these different races and they it was almost like a trophy if you got the t-shirt so people do collect them anyway I paid three dollars and eighteen cents this sold for 1997 full price profit was 1502 and this sold in about a day and then we have a Yeti t-shirt really cool logo with a navy blue background and a bright orange logo and this one also had stains on it in my description I say two faint stains on front left see photos and showed pictures of the defect I paid three dollars and eighteen cents sold this for eighteen profit was thirteen dollars and eighteen cents 
Here's another Yeti shirt. This one sold for full price. I paid $3.18. It sold for $19.97. Profit was $14.99. Now, I could not figure out what the guy is doing in the image there. And somebody suggested it was paddle boarding. No, that didn't look right. So I did put this image on my Facebook group. And I said, what do you guys think is going on in this image with this guy in the long pole? And what I thought it was, was like the flat bottom boats that you see on the more shallow rivers. And they have that long pole that pushes it along. And that's actually called punting. So thank you to the people that informed me of that because I did not know what to call this. And Problem solved when you ask eBayers in the eBay community, they can help you. So that ended well. Okay, the next item is this Snoopy t shirt with rhinestones, glitter stuff on the front. And I paid $1.50 for this. It sold for $15.97. Profit was $13.21. And I think this line of t shirts is sold at Walmart and probably for much less than $15.97. But here's the thing with eBay. Oh, I'd like to buy some t-shirts. Let me go on eBay and see what's there. And someone sees this and they love it because it's a lovable character. And they do an impulse buy. And it doesn't matter that Walmart sold it for $5 a year ago. They didn't even know they wanted to buy it until they went on eBay and went scrolling through the t-shirts to see what appealed to them. So it doesn't matter if something is from Walmart or Target or wherever, if it's an appealing image or character or brand, there's a buyer for it. And they like the convenience of being able to buy it online and have it shipped to their door, especially now when it's very iffy if stores are open and you have to wear a mask and it's kind of a hassle to go into a retail store. People are buying more online. Okay, here's another interesting one with glitter. Tesla Electric with the Tesla logo. This one was new. It had a tag on it. And it sold almost immediately. I took a best offer. I paid $3.18. It sold for $22. Profit was $16.64. Here's another one that was damaged. Southwest Airlines with the little multicolored heart. I paid $1.60 for this. Sold it for full price of $19.97 almost immediately after it was listed. Profit was $16.45. And in my listings, I usually highlight where the defect is and show a close-up of it so there is no confusion later. But I was shocked that this damaged item sold for full price so quickly, I did my research before posting it and this price was in line with other items similar on other sites. So I don't think I priced it too low. It's not collectible, but I was happy with that. So don't let defects scare you. If the logo, image, character, whatever's on the shirt, is appealing enough people don't care somebody may have bought this you know to work on their car or to mow the yard or whatever and they don't care if it's damaged they just want a cool shirt to wear okay and then the last one is life is good this was new with tag and i paid three dollars and 18 cents for this took an offer of 15 profit was ten dollars and 71 cents so if you want to check out all my sold items there is a link below the video that takes you to that page that shows everything I sold and you can go through them up to 90 days back. So you can see for yourself exactly what sold because I sold 192 items this month so I can't put all of them in this video. <laughs> that would be way too long. But I do have some fun facts about what sold because I like a diverse store. I don't like to specialize. I sold 18 sweaters, which might be surprising because it's July. And if you think, well, who would buy sweaters in July? A lot of people 
So there's the proof. 32 items with the keyword swim in the title. 21 items that were in the athletic wear category and 18 t-shirts not bad for a new product line I just started doing this month so I was very pleased with the results there and 19 golf wear items so a nice mix of different types of clothing items returns the part nobody likes I had three returns that totaled seventy dollars and fifteen cents the first one there the reason was doesn't fit the second one was a Suzanne mistake but I guarantee you have made this mistake or if you haven't made it yet you will at some point shipped the wrong thing the buyer bought a size 2 extra large Anaheim Ducks golf shirt and I shipped them a Pittsburgh Penguins small golf shirt. The colors were exactly the same, the black with the orange sleeves, and I just did not pay close enough attention, and we got it worked out, and it was fine, but it happens to everybody, so don't beat yourself up when that happens. And then the next one was also a doesn't match description, but... I think this was a very gray area because I listed this item as purple and the buyer said it was blue but she said it was a completely different color than what was in the picture so it is what it is it was returned and it sold again already so sometimes that happens and I'm just not going to get bogged down in those arguments if a buyer thinks it's a different color then I'm not gonna argue with that you, you can't win so it's just best to refund their money and move on okay the numbers I was very pleased with what happened this month so here is my screenshot of sales and remember sales includes shipping so it does not deduct your fees or the costs of your item so this is not what ends up in your bank account but I did sell hundred and ninety two items my profit per item is down to thirteen dollars and fifty cents I'm okay with that because I am looking at total profit now I'm not worried about profit per item that experiment did not work for me and I am 100 percent okay to say hey that didn't work let's move on and try some other things my total profit was $2,592.88, which was $788.96 more than the month before, and $1,035.79 more than July of last year. And I know that because I keep all of my spreadsheets and I can look back year to year and see my performance. And I suggest you do the same thing too. Feedback. I received 59 feedbacks, so I was happy with that. Number of items in my store. At the end of June, I had 477 items. At the end of July, I had 565 items. So I am really hustling it and pushing myself to get more items listed because more items are selling. If we look back again at the chart here, 192 items for July, 113 for June, 58 for May, 28 for April. There are a lot of factors beyond my control here, including the pandemic and stores being closed and more people shopping online. So all of that's working in my favor. This wasn't 100% me just hustling it. It's the vortex of all these things that are going on right now that are driving people to shop online. So... I keep saying this but I believe it if you're a reseller you are in the right place at the right time and it is time to strike while the iron is hot and really push it and get your eBay business going another statistic I like to look at for my business is the average price of listed items in June that price was thirty three dollars and eighty seven cents per item in July 
$32.25. So I'm maintaining that level even though I'm selling different kinds of items, I am maintaining that average price of listed items. Goal versus actual. My goal is $3,500 a month profit and I was at $2,592.88 this month so definitely moving in the right direction. And I always give you an update on my premium library as of July 31st. There are 334 videos, 99 hours of education. So if you haven't tried it yet, give it a try for a month and see what you think. Okay, that's it. That's my recap for July and I am very pleased with the results. And I'm just having so much fun with this business now. Sometimes it takes something you love being taken away from you for a while for you to realize how much you appreciate it and love doing it. And that's why I have this YouTube channel is to help other people succeed with eBay just by sharing what I know and what I'm doing. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of you. And again, if you've bought a t-shirt, send me a picture of you wearing it and we're going to do something with that in a future video or multiple future videos. Thanks again for watching and have a profitable and productive day on eBay. Bye.